we founded the school in 1970, and of course the spark plugs were Verlin and Shirley Anderson, and Verlin uh, uh, kept talking to me and convinced me, so finally I got involved, and I was one of the founders. I loaned the money to the school to buy the property, the building where we first had school over in Pleasant Grove. It was a very, very humble beginning. We was really scratching financially. When I think about the school that I grew up in, that, that old church building, and we all recognize this was not a fancy school that we went to in terms of how it looked, but the inner core was so deep and good. And it felt like we offered our five loaves and two fishes. This is my grandparents and those who gave so much. And God expanded it. He blessed it. It is unbelievable, I think, to those of us who remember sitting in those little green benches and our little tiny offering and watching how it has expanded. How could we say enough thanks for generous people who had a vision for what could be? I hope they never forget what the purpose of this school is. I hope they never forget the spirit of, of how this school came to be and what it stands for. Every time I come on campus, I look at this beautiful 40-acre campus. This didn't just happen overnight. It's the result of a lot of work. I think now we're up to seven or eight different transactions for land acquisition to put 40 contiguous acres together. That's remarkable. That's remarkable. And there's no question in my mind that this school has a future and that we've been blessed because Heavenly Father loves His children and He needs a generation of children who have a special education. That's American heritage. The teachers here really care um, and the people here are just very genuine and they really care about they just care about you and they, they're there for you and they, it's not about a grade or a check, just checking the boxes, it's you're an actual human and um, yeah, the teachers just are there for you. American Heritage is this unique combination of wonderful academics with a soul that is deep and a character that is deep and profound. I love the values that it teaches, I love the, the way that it helps our children to think about current affairs and the world that they're growing up in, to understand it, to understand sometimes the fallacies of, of, of the arguments of, in society that, that they're surrounded with. Um, I love that. I love the basis of the Constitution and, uh, and, and the founding of this country. And, and how that's an emphasis and, and how the kids come away with an understanding and a real appreciation for that. I feel like the school does a great job with incorporating, you know, not just those that maybe are kind of like a more affluent part of our community. You know, the school is able to bring together uh, families and societies and to some degree cultures and people of a lot of different backgrounds. And you know, that's a blessing that is afforded because of the way that the school has been funded, right? We can charge a lot less for our tuition than comparable schools in terms of like, you know, in the private education space. And I hope that's something that the school never loses, you know, the fact that it's not a school just for the elite or for the affluent. It's for all families. I've, I've had some financial aid uh, and I think without it, I may not be here. But I've been able to receive what, some of the best education I think you can find in the, um, in the state. It's extremely valuable. I think it can help change, well I know it, it has helped change the lives of 
Uh, many of my friends whose families would struggle to pay for their own education. I smile when I think about student conversations where I am enlightened by them, where, and that happens all throughout the year where I'm just so inspired by things that they share, personal experiences or stories that just impact me. The biggest thing for us was that we were looking for a place where the, what we taught at home could be supported and amplified and reinforced by what the kids were learning at school. It's been a huge impact. I mean, our, our children are, are very different people now than they would have been otherwise. I remember when James and John were in third grade. It was Thanksgiving. I got up early in the morning and decided to go on a Thanksgiving Day run. I stopped by the school. While I caught my breath, I looked inside and I saw this wonderful piece of art depicting three of our founding fathers kneeling in prayer. I, I was caught all of a sudden with this wave of immense gratitude that I felt that my children had the opportunity to attend this great school, a school that would teach them about the divine origins of our republic, about the fact that our constitution was written by wise men raised up by Almighty God to that very purpose. come and feel this place. That's what does it. You, you uh, oh, they'll learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, but to really appreciate what's gonna happen to them, you have to come here and feel this place. Being here allows me to be involved in the youth and athletics in an amazing facility um, and be surrounded by, you know, a group of students that are, that are really special. And being able to not only share my love of athletics with them, but what's most important to me is my testimony. There is nothing more precious than a soul, a son or daughter of God. And there's nothing more important. How can they know unless we teach them so? How can they know the path that leads to happiness unless we teach them so? It is here that we get to not only teach the truth about history, but we're also able to include the gospel in our teaching. I found that that was a major draw for me to be able to do that. This school has allowed me to create a relationship with God and to figure out who I am. Um, and has given me that, that confidence through the things I've learned and done here um, to be able to make real change in myself, in my family, in my community, and hopefully someday in the world.